don't want to blog dot com Cause you don't have the time You can focus on your job While we blog, blog, blog for you Check out the website and you'll see Hi everyone, thank you for listening in to the Be Seen Blogging Podcast. I'm Jen Miller and on today's show, episode number 22, How to Hire a Blogger, we're going to talk about something a little different than normal. Every day I get calls from clients interested in starting a blogging service. Many of them don't understand how to make the transition to hiring a blogger. Realizing that you may be in the same boat, I decided we needed to discuss questions to ask when hiring a writer for your blog. First and foremost, you have to find someone who is the right fit and understands your tone and style. What voice will they use to engage with your readers? Next, you need to explore whether the writer is informed on your topic. If all of these seem to mesh with your company and goals, then you'll need to get into more serious questions. Here are some I'm typically asked. How are you trained to write and why are you interested in writing my blog posts? How do you do your research? Will you conduct interviews? This question is easily answered by someone who has experience. Prior to blogging, I was a journalist, so these are some of my favorite questions to answer. I love conducting interviews and researching new topics to find the untold story or take a topic deeper. And I've put together a team of writers who feel the same. Do you write other types of content? This question can be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, spreading yourself too thin with varied projects can be a real issue for writers. However, a white paper writer who can utilize graphs and statistics in a post, or someone who has the vision to see how your post could eventually create book material, is invaluable. Do you blog or write elsewhere, and can you send published samples? Post samples should always be requested, and it's best to see them when published so you have an idea of the finished product versus standalone text. Our posts, for instance, include stock images, headers, and other formatting such as bullet or section breaks to break up the text. Plus, with published works, you'll be able to see any engagement tools from sign-up forms to links, all known as calls to action. Do you have an error-free guarantee or process for eliminating grammar issues and avoiding mistakes in spelling? This is key to presenting a professional image on your blog. And need someone to blog? We have a three-part edit system in place that goes way beyond spell check to ensure that our blog posts are error-free. What blogging platforms do you use and will you upload the post directly for me? So it's always helpful when you can find a blogger that will post directly on your platform or website and alert you when a draft is ready for review. Otherwise, your time savings is drastically reduced as you still need to log into the site and format each post. To my understanding, a lot of people hire bloggers because they want to save time. So to me, it makes more sense to have someone who will upload the post for you. Do you have copyright protections in place to protect yourself and your clients? What are they? The answer this, the answer to this question should be yes, and a specific strategy should be outlined. Options can include use of stock imagery and plagiarism scanners, as well as professional liability insurance. Do you use search engine optimization best practices in your writing? Any experienced blogger has learned how to optimize posts for search, and even beginners have tools that can teach them the necessities of SEO. If your blogger doesn't answer this question well, it's time to look elsewhere. Will you promote the post after writing, and if so, where? Some bloggers use their own byline and will promote your posts on their personal social media. We prefer to think of the content as yours, so write under your byline and share it under your social media. The most important thing, however, with all posts is that the promotion of each post occurs and is shared repeatedly over time. Will you post to my blog consistently? What are the emergency plans you have in place should you become ill or go on vacation or lose power? Consistent blogging is why you hire someone. If they don't have a plan in place, such as scheduling, backup posts, or a plan to get online when times are unique, you may want to reconsider. We have a generator. I live in California. It's not a necessity. 
but I have one both at the office and at home should the need arise. What is the biggest improvement I will see in my blog by hiring you? The answer depends on the blogger, but consistency, engagement, and website traffic should all be on that list. Thank you for tuning in to Be Seen Blogging today. If you have more questions on hiring a blogger or other website content topics, please reach out to me, Jen Miller, on Twitter at JenBlogsForYou or through my website at NeedSomeOneToBlog.com. Thank you so much. Talk to you next week. NeedSomeOneToBlog.com Cause you don't have the time You can focus on your job While we blog, blog Blog for you. Check out the website and you'll see. Try it out and become an icon of your industry. We'll develop a voice for your blog to connect with.